Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jonathan Mactus. Welcome to my sports channel. Thanks for following along. Thanks for listening. If you guys heard that video earlier, I apologize. There was some technical difficulties. Obviously, there was no sound to the video. Um, I apologize for that. Um, hopefully, you guys hear me loud and clear now as I talk about this game seven. So the Celtics are heading back to the NBA Finals for the first time since 2010. The last time they played in the NBA Finals, Kobe-led Lakers beat the Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals. What a series that was. Now the Celtics are going back once again after they knocked off the Miami Heat. They beat a very good Miami Heat team, one that was, you know, struggling mightily, one that was extremely exhausted, um, you know, one that had a lot of mental toughness but couldn't find a way to get a win over a very good Celtics team. Now, this Celtics team, to me, was deeper. The Celtics team was more complete. I think we all knew that, right? We we all knew how good of, of, of a team these Celtics were, you know, even coming into this series. It's amazing how the Celtics turned around their season because a lot of people didn't believe this was a, a playoff team for, for a while. You know, for a long time, they were a borderline playoff team. They weren't expected to get this far. You know, they weren't. At one point, they, they didn't even sniff the playoffs. And then to get this far, it, it's a moment for them to embrace as a team. But they stuck together, they hung in there, and they got it done. And now they're going back to the NBA Finals. So an incredible victory for them. But you you have to feel some sympathy. You, you have to feel some sympathy for, for Jimmy Butler. Uh, because he was absolutely exhausted. And, you know... I was critical of, of, of his final shot in the game. You know, I, I was criticizing him because I felt that he should have gone for a sure two instead of going for a three on that possession. Why would you shoot a three on that possession? But I get it. You know, when you're exhausted and you're not feeling 100%, you're going to do whatever you take. You're going to do whatever you can uh, to lunch a three. And hope it goes in. And unfortunately, obviously, as we saw, it didn't go, it, it didn't fall for him. You know, but he was, but again, he was absolutely tired. Uh, he's not, he wasn't there physically. He wasn't 100%. And in the end, he still gave it his all. You know, he gave it all that he had for his team. And, you know, he lunched the three, uh, tried to win the game right in and there. And unfortunately, the shot didn't fall. The Boston Celtics, once again, you got to give a lot of credit, credit to the Boston Celtics because they went on the road and they pulled it out in game seven. They went on the road in game six. They pulled it out in Milwaukee in, in the previous series. This is a team that's been finding ways to get a win on the road. They like playing on the, on the road, obviously. Because it's been going well for them. But the, the issue that I have with the Celtics, and, 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 and here's something that they cannot have happen against a very good Warriors team. You can't shoot the ball inefficiently in the closing minutes. They have to do a better job closing games. And that's something that the Celtics continue to show that they can't close games. I mean, it's been a troubling trend for the Celtics team. Their inability to shut it down in the fourth quarter. They don't really have that floor general that can, you know, close it out. They don't they don't have that player, and this is no disrespect to Jason Tatum, but they don't have that player who has that killer instinct in the fourth quarter, like a Kobe or or someone of that nature that can shut it down. You know, Marcus Smart taking the Final, the, the last five shots, 
in the fourth quarter, uh, that shouldn't have happened. So there is a level of concern for a team like the Boston Celtics, particularly in the fourth quarter, because this could have been a whole different game if this Miami Heat team wasn't as depleted as they were. You know, so, I I mean, you know, the Celtics uh, get the victory, of course. They secured their spot in the NBA Finals. You know, um, again, this is a team that was 23-25 at one point in the season. Uh, They had one of the greatest turnarounds in NBA history to get to where they are today. And now... They win game seven, 100 to 96 against the Miami Heat. You know, the Miami Heat had a lot of talent as well, uh, but the Celtics got a lot from Derek White, who was acquired from the Spurs on February 10th, I believe, if I'm correct. Uh, He was six for 10 uh, from three point range. Um, off the bench in the last two games. So he's been playing exceptionally well. Uh, he's been huge for them off the bench. Um, you know, and and Boston just looked good. You know, they, they, they got a great performance from Jason Tatum. He finishes the game with 26 points. Um, you know, of course, he, he led the way for his team, the Celtics, uh, led wire to wire, and they responded every time the Heat uh, went on the run. You know, th- uh, the Celtics were able to build double-digit leads, and the Heat would respond, and they would trim the deficit uh, to less than less than ten points. But they weren't able to, you know, uh, regain the lead or or, you know. Uh, find a way to take the lead in the game, you know. So Miami uh, went on a late run, cut um, the deficit to two points, um, and they managed to hang around uh, for a chance to win the game. And then that's when, of course, Jimmy Butler takes the three, misses it. Um, It bounces off the rim, didn't go down, and the Celtics were able to, uh, to hold on, you know, but the Celtics to me uh, were the better team, and I know Laker fans don't want to hear it. I know Laker fans don't want to hear it. Uh, you know, this is a tough night for all Laker fans out there, uh, but I don't see anyone beating the Warriors. I don't see the Celtics beating the Warriors, particularly. I think the Warriors are a better team, they're more balanced, they have the offensive firepower, um, they have Great defense with Draymond Green on the floor. Um, I I think they will find a way to get get the get the job done. Of course, they they will win the game. Um, so now the Celtics will be playing the Golden State Warriors in um, the NBA Finals for a championship, beginning with Game One Thursday night in San Francisco. Should be fun, you know. But Boston, man, they got some key stops down the stretch, and they came out on top. You know, they were able to come away with the victory. This is something that you embrace. This is something that you celebrate. Um, This team has a lot of togetherness. This team obviously has great chemistry. Uh, They know how to win together. Um, Just an amazing team. Just an amazing team. Um... Did what they had to do. And, you know, even though Miami went on an 11-0 run um, to get it down to a two-point Boston lead, and they nearly stole the game away, uh, Boston, again, uh, still denied Miami um, of a chance to take it from them, you know. So, great victory for Boston. I know this is tough for me to say as a Laker fan, but great victory for Boston. I'm I'm trying to be objective here. Um, Tough night for Jimmy Butler, again, who gave it his all. Once again, fall short. He fell short in 2020 as well um, in the NBA Finals playing against the Lakers in the bubble. We all remember that. 
Tyler Hero came back tonight, gave it a go. Um, it unfortunately wasn't enough for the Miami Heat. You know, again, the Boston Celtics was just the better team. You know, they were just the better team, and they started playing uh, fundamental basketball at the right time. You know, they finally discovered themselves at the right time. You know, and they were able to get hot at the right time, and and now they're in the NBA Finals. Um, and now they're going to face a very, very good Golden State Warriors team. I'll see you guys later. You guys take care. You guys have a good night. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with all the people you know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.